your heart's fire. I love Elavo. Hearts fire. <laughs> These actors are not only powerful Avengers behind the camera, but they also are incredible voice actors in between filming. You do not want to challenge me. We are going to be sharing all the off-screen secrets that transform these brilliant performers into the animated characters they portray. Trust me, it's ruled by an alien queen and she'll try to brainwash your friends. Number 1. Chris Evans definitely had a blast, no pun intended, being the voice of Buzz Lightyear. Finally. Look how good this looks, my god. Though in the beginning, he was super nervous in the booth. The, the first couple sessions in the booth were a little intimidating. He couldn't stop overanalyzing the sound of his own voice and described himself feeling like a deer in headlights. There seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. Who are you talking to? Uh, no one. Eventually though, he did loosen up and was able to really lean into the physical aspect of his performance. To infinity. And beyond! Number 2. Taika Waititi is a brilliant performer. So brilliant, in fact, he doesn't even need to know what's going on in the film as he's performing. I've seen it and I still don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the story of Lightyear developed as it went. The actors performed different versions of the film, and the final result was what the creators just naturally landed on. Ready? Ready! Ready. No way! No ready! It seems like Taika Waititi's go-with-the-flow attitude was pretty appropriate. Well, this is pretty cool. Number 3. Here comes Yelena. Florence Pugh is very experienced when it comes to being on screen, but when it comes to voiceover, well, it's a whole new world of possibilities. You're supposed to be dead. <laughs> Pugh's very first time being cast in an animated film was for the epic Puss in Boots 2. You've never seen a Goldilocks quite like this before. I loved having an honest connection with her. Number 4. Not only does Paul Rudd make an appearance in Bob's Burgers' sixth season as Jericho, Tina's talking horse. Hey, who needs real horses anyway? Can a real horse do this? But we get to see him again in the Bob's Burgers movie. Paul Rudd is a seasoned voice actor and brings a whole new level of comedy to the classic animated series. I'm on this show. This is, this is who I play. Number 5. Seriously though, what can't Scarlett Johansson do? Among all of the incredible films she's been in, she's also starred in several animated ones. SpongeBob, wherever you are, you better hurry! She delivers an outstanding performance in Wes Anderson's stop-motion film, Isle of Dogs. I thought you knew all about me. Number 6. Jeremy Renner worked super hard on the set of Arctic Dogs, but he still managed to have a great time doing it. I worked really hard for this. He turns something so practical, like doing several takes for one line of dialogue, into a lesson on honing his skills. It's really fun and challenging just to hone in on the lines and the delivery of the lines. Not only did he play the film's protagonist, Swifty, but he also worked on the production's music. I think that's pretty awesome. Number 7. Zoe Saldana does a complete 180 from her character Gamora to her character Maria in the Book of Life. Did you think it was going to be that easy? <laughs> <laughs> she loved being part of a film that not only caters to the younger audience, but to the parents as well. She was also super excited to work with Guillermo del Toro. He's a filmmaker that I have loved and respected a great deal. Number 8. From the best superhero poses to the booth, there's no stopping Scarlett Johansson. The actress brought to life Ash the Porcupine in both Sing and its sequel. Uh, you guys okay? And this project was special for a few reasons. The first was a pretty exciting fact for her daughter. This is probably one of the only films I can I can actually show my daughter. Not only was she the coolest mom in her child's friend group after that, she also got to work with one of her childhood heroes. The one and only Bono. The only downside of working with the music legend was the fact that she had to keep it a secret from everyone in her life for so long. The Sing franchise has been pretty stellar for the Black Widow actress. No wonder she was always having fun in the booth. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just wonderful. Um, very, very special. Number 9. Tom Holland is an incredible actor and performer, but there are some things he struggles with when portraying his characters, particularly laughing. Well, that's not good. 
he has a really hard time laughing on cue. In order to get around this, they recorded audio of him laughing in no relation to his lines and just used that every time his character Walter had to laugh. When shooting the transformation scene with Will Smith, Tom was really intimidated after hearing Will's audio for the first time. I have to do all these like crazy different voices and I was actually really embarrassed when we were recording that scene. Number 10. Karen Gillan, who portrays Nebula in The Avengers, gets to play a totally different and much more wholesome character in Spies in Disguise, Eyes. They call me Eyes, Spectral Analysis and Quantum Optical Thermography. One notable difference for her when voicing an animated character versus acting on screen was that she had to channel every emotion she was trying to convey through her voice alone. It was a really cool experience, actually. It felt like I could really just let loose and really go for it and have a lot of fun. Number 11. He's not just quick. The Pietro actor might be a speed demon in the MCU, but throw him in a voiceover booth and the actor can pull out all the stops. Any Family Guy fans may have recognized the voice of Jaden to be none other than Taylor Johnson himself in the Chap Stewie episode in season 21. Father. Is it going to live here for a while? The actor may not hang out in the voice booth very often, but when he does, it's a real treat. Who knew his upper crust vibe was so on point? It's a new whole world to me. Number 12. As we all know, Pixar definitely has a way of pulling at our heartstrings. Chris Pratt made a comment on Twitter about grown men crying while watching Onward. He was no different. No, I have three. Remember his beard was scratchy, had a goofy laugh, and he used to play drums on his feet. He had a very emotional experience, starting from the original pitch. I cried hearing the pitch to this movie. It's very emotional, it's very moving. Number 13. Tom Holland loved working on Onward with his buddy Chris. It was definitely one of the highlights of making the film for him. Tapping into any brain, just let me go! They have great chemistry, and had a lot of fun portraying the voices of these two brothers. This is for a game, based on real life. In real life, Tom is the oldest sibling and Chris is the youngest, but in the film, they get to switch. Tom loved this aspect because he always wanted an older brother, and Chris is like that for him in a lot of ways as a friend and fellow actor. I basically just played my younger brother Paddy, is kind of how I approach this role. Number 14. Something really cool about Robert Downey Jr.'s role on Family Guy is that it wouldn't have happened if he wasn't such a big fan of the show. He called up the show's production staff and asked if he could assist or produce one of the episodes. This led to the creation of the infamous Family Guy episode, The Fat Guy Strangler. He's feeding. He killed twice and he's gonna do it again. Number 15. The undeniably talented Don Cheadle gets to portray one of his most challenging characters yet, Donald Duck. When you're trying to be any duck, but when you're trying to be Donald Duck, you cannot mess around. He really tried to get into the psyche of Donald Duck. My company, I'm a billionaire. He often pondered, what makes a duck tick? Questions we would all love the answers to. The talent of these actors truly never ends, does it? Did any of these castings surprise you? Which MCU actor do you want to see dive into the world of voiceover next?